developments for the elevation plan and the oblique view of a square base pyramid. When we look at the model, we can see that all these lines are the same length. But in the elevation, this line appears to be longer than this line. With the compass, we can check that. That's set to the length, but that line is definitely shorter. This line is shorter because it's not a true length line. This line is a true length line. And the reason why that's a true length line is because it's parallel with the XY line in plan. If a line is parallel with the XY line in plan, then its elevation will give the true length. Now, when we go to draw the development of this, what I plan to do is to rotate it around so that we get the four surfaces around in a circle like that. To do that, Put the point of the compass in the top of the pyramid and draw an arc. Now we need to step off the distances at the base. This line is a true length line because it's on the ground and we're looking perpendicular down to it. So we can take that length and mark it off four times on the arc. And now join each of these points to the top point with a dotted line because it's going to be folded along that line. This top line should be a heavy line. Join the bottom. We'll put the base on out here so we'll make this a dotted line. And now using the two set squares, line up with this line, slide the top set square and draw that line which will be perpendicular with the compass set to the length mark it off and join those points and now to index it this is b so next one is a this one here will be b b this one here is c d this one here will be c again and this back to b and that's the development complete and that's developments for complete.